M is currently the best priced Dynavat model around. It used to be the OG, but y'all fucked it up with all that crack pipe talk. The 2018 model is $60. For the durabilities and microdosing abilities, it's well worth it. It is made from stainless steel, forged in the same American spirit that bought you things like pickup trucks and stripper poles, a true classic. On the other side of the Dynaverse, we have the Omnivap, a symphony of function, feel, and aesthetics. The composition of adjustable airflow and bowl play beautifully with your selected arrangement of parts, whether wood or titanium. The Omni is a true work of art, but the art ain't cheap. It's 180 for the standard and 190 for the XL. If you have never used either, it could be a bit confusing as to which one you should get. So that's what we'll be looking at in this video. And make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. I drop videos regularly. Price aside, the M does provide some great qualities that you may find suit your needs better. For starters, the simplicity. The M has fewer moving parts than the Omni, and it is easier to construct with less to troubleshoot. There are also less O-rings with the M, and they are a bit thicker and easier to place. The fresh air intake is always in a wide open position that you use like a carb. This feels very natural and makes the M a good choice if you're looking to kick your smoking habit with something familiar feeling. The M also feels a bit heavier and that added weight makes it feel a bit more secure. The stainless steel tip also heats differently from the titanium tip. The stainless steel takes a little longer to heat and stays hot for a few seconds longer. You will also use fewer heat cycles per load and this will save you some butane as well. The 2018M has different air channels on the tip which give it a different effect when drawing when the intake is covered. Both vaporizers use the same stainless steel cap and they are interchangeable between models. The cap is also the only part of either vaporizer that is magnetic. Both vaporizers are also built to last and come with Dynavap's world-class customer service. They both can also be used with multiple heating sources, including, but not limited to, candle, campfire, chlamydia, induction heater, and cigar torch. Both vaporizers have the same cleaning ritual too. Translation, super easy to clean with ISO and a water rinse. They are also both great at doing concentrates and can be used with shredded or chunky plant bits. They both have custom screens, titanium for the Omni, stainless steel for the M. Both models fit inside a Dynastash the same way too. They are also both modular. The Omni features deeper and wider air channels with valleys on the tip for maximum airflow. The Omni also features adjustable screen positions. You can go to max at the lowest or about a third of a bowl at the highest setting. The set it and forget it Omni condenser is nice once you get used to it and it allows you to use the Omni without thinking. It doesn't close the carb 100% though, maybe just like 90% until it gets gummed up. It is also available in different sizes, standard and XL. I like the added length of the XL and it feels better when holding, but there is something about the standard size with the Vong body that satisfies me in a special way. The condenser is even titanium and with an all titanium except for the cap configuration, it is lighter and stronger than the stainless steel. The titanium tip heats and cools faster than the stainless steel, so you get more heat cycles per pack as well. I personally prefer the Omni, though I still use the M from time to time.
The M is great for those on a budget, those who want higher temps and longer heat cycles, those who are looking for something that is inexpensive enough to lose our gift without too much hurt on the wallet. The M is also great for someone who is new to vaping or someone who wants to try Dynavap without a significant investment involved. The Omnivap is great for those who already know they like Dynavap and want the next tier of functionality and performance or those who want to ball the fuck out and go premium right out the gate. The extra price tag is worth it if you are into adjustable airflow and adjustable load size. The added airflow is a bonus as well. The tips are interchangeable too, so if you want the tip features but not the airflow adjustment, you can make it happen. But no matter which one you choose, the core of the experience is still present. They also both perform the same in terms of vapor quality and ease of use, so even if you choose the M, you won't be robbed of anything outside of effort. What do you want to see me cover next? Let me know in the comments and make sure you subscribe. Also, follow me on the gram. Thanks for watching.